Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Game Time Tay, and I'm back with another Madden video. Listen, man, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And we're gonna keep running it up this year, man. Listen, by the time Madden 23 come out, I want to have at least 200 subscribers or more. That's the goal. By the time Madden 23 come out, I'm going to have 200 subscribers. Right now, y'all see we on this Madden 22 next gen. I got the Ravens. My opponent got the Cardinals. We're coming out second and 11. We on offense first. I get loose with Lamar out the pocket. We can pick up the first down. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Listen. When I say I feel like I'm the best Madden player in the world, I'm the best man to play in the world. Now, I know that some, some of y'all might be saying I'm being cocky or, you know, too too ahead of myself or so, stuff like that. But until you beat me and prove me wrong, I'm better than you. Simple as that. So right now, third and 12. We coming out around the 50-yard line. I get out the pocket with Lamar Jackson. I'm surprised I didn't fumble right there. But it's all good. So we did just put him the ball. It was fourth down. I didn't want to risk anything. So now he got his first offensive possession right here. And I could just tell by the way this guy was playing, especially, especially offensively. I could just tell that this guy wasn't really all that nice. Like he was coming out in the same formations, like same one or two formations. And like he wasn't mixing it up. So it was only going to be a matter of time before, you know, I like caught on to what he was doing. But anyway, he got the first down right there on the fourth and two. That's a big play for him right there. You know, coming out 40 seconds left in the first quarter. And like, y'all can see he just coming out in the same formation. He get another play right there to his tight end. And once I started noticing that, that second time right there, that's when I, you know, started paying more attention to that. He did, he going to do a no huddle right here. He already still in the same formation. He getting closer to the touchdown. But, you know, I always believe in my defense more when they get close to touchdown. So, right now, first and goal, I'm guarding DeAndre Hopkins, man-to-man -man blitz. And I'm just, I just know he, I know he's trying to get it to him as quickly as he can. Like, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Right here, we get a nice sack right here for a loss about seven. Second and goal. I'm seeing him come across the field. A bunch of, there's a bunch of receivers going across the field. And you see, I get to use the alert right there to use a pick. And, like, I seen that coming a mile away. Like, that was too easy for me to spot. Like, you can't just do do plays like that and not expect me, game time Tay, to see stuff like that. Like, that's too easy for me, bro. Come on. So, we get the pick, and now we got the ball back, third and eight. I see my boy J.K. Dobbins. He picked up the first down for us. You know, we starting to march down the field pretty nicely. First and ten, I throw it to my boy Hollywood. Juke one person. Uh, get the first down. And I was, I don't know why I cut in. I thought maybe he was going to use it and I was just going to shake him or something, but it didn't work out. So I handed it off to JK. And you know, JK get that touchdown for us. Like, listen, so I enjoy playing with the Ravens, man. Listen, like I said before in one of my, in my first video on YouTube, I'm a Ravens fan. I'm from Baltimore. So, you know, I rock with the hometown team. And playing with the Ravens or Madden. Can definitely be fun at times. Like, it'd be fun. Now, me personally, I don't do all that, you know, heavy running and scrambling with Lamar Jackson unless I really have to. But even that, it's just, I have fun using the Ravens, you know what I mean? So, right here, first and 10, he get the nice little check down pass right there. Got a minute left in the second quarter. We up by touchdown. And right now, I'm, I'm feeling, you know, I'm rocking with my defense right now. I'm believing in my defense. I'm starting to slowly catch on to what he's trying to do. Because like I said earlier in the video, he only got, what, maybe no more than three formations that he like to do. This formation right here, he was doing the whole game. He would just, you know, I guess, I'm guessing he flipping it and then running to the opposite side. I don't know what he really thought he was doing with that. But yeah, he kept doing that same formation. Right here, he get a nice pass across the middle and he get the touchdown, something like no, I pretty much gave him that one. 18 seconds left in the second quarter. Y'all know I'm going to try to go deep for my boy Hollywood. Hollywood. Let's get it, man. Look, Like, listen, bro. 
You can't make this stuff up. This stuff just too easy sometimes, bro. But we get the score right there before half with five seconds left. Now we into the third quarter. And it's good that we actually scored before the half because he get ball back. So at least we still up by a touchdown. The way that our game is moving is still in the same order. So by him getting ball at half, after half, doesn't really make a difference. Right there, he get the pass on a drag route, pick up the first down in about maybe 20 more yards or so. Pass midfield, first and 10. And like, the same formations, bro. And not even if it's the same formation, but like, just the same, like, you know, play concept. Like, I was catching on to it eventually, but near the end of the game, I was starting to slowly catch on to all of it. Right here, second and four. He escaped out the pocket with Kyler Murray, break one tackle and get the first. He get out of bounds. This game, it wasn't going to be a lot of fumbling because of the game day factor. Um, safe hands. Second and 10, he get another pass across the middle and get the touchdown. That's the second time he did that. So now we tied up again, 14-14, and we get the ball back. I see my boy JK on the flat. Pass it to him. You know, he pick up the first down a couple more yards. First and 10, we pass midfield. We run the ball up the middle with JK. We almost pick up the first down. I feel like he could have probably slid off that tackle. We go back to the run on second and one. Get the um, first down. And that was like the second. Yo, that was the second face mask call. I feel like they really should have called That was definitely face mask. But they didn't call it. I tried to throw it to my boy Hollywood on a comeback route. I, I kind of almost threw a pick. If that was a better corner, that would have might have been a pick. I scrambled out the pocket with Lamar. I see my boy Mark Andrews. He get the nice catch with the easy touchdown. And now we back up with score. Like, let's get it, bro. Like, yo, this is coming too easy, like I said. So now he got the ball back. 40 seconds left in the third. He picked up the first down. First and 10. And, like, look, he just keep doing, like, this whole flipping. And I understand why he's doing it, but it's just like, bro. Come on, you're not fooling anybody. You're not. So right here, second and two. You can run the ball up the middle and pick up a first down and like 10 more. Sign light, sign light. Not too crazy. Play action pass. He tried to take, he got the pocket with Kyler Murray. I know he probably wanted to throw it across the middle to D-Hop, but that was locked up. Second and two. He threw it to his flat route. Check down. Pick up the first. And we're in the fourth quarter. And this is where things, you know, starting to get a little intense. He tried to escape the pocket with Kyler, but we get the sack. And ain't none of that happening, bruh. Second and 22. And I don't even know how this happened, but this dude got open on, like, a wheel route. And I was just so lost and confused on how that even happened. So, we got 3.30 left in the fourth. And it's tied up. So in my mind right now, I'm like, you know, this is the last possession of the game. For, for the, This is the last possession of the game. I see my boy Hollywood. I play making him, make him go up the field, and he catch it. Now we in field goal range, and all I got to do is just run out the clock. So we got two minutes left in the fourth quarter. And this is all I needed right here. Once I get in field goal range, just run out the clock. And that's be game over. Like I said, this was the last. this was going to be the last possession of the game. All I need is a field goal to win, and that's it. And we're going to walk out of here with a W, son. So right here, third and eight, I get out the pocket with Lamar. I'm surprised. I'm so glad I did not fumble just because of that game day factor. Fourth and two, I decided to go for it, and I noticed that he did it like almost like an all-out blitz. We pick up the first and stay in bounds. And now, all we got to do is just run the ball one more time. You know, have him use his last time out if he wanted to. He iced me, so it make me harder to kick the field goal, but this is still easy. This is still easy field goal. We're going to walk out of here with the W, bruh. Listen, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody for their support. You know, I enjoy making these Madden videos for y'all. And yeah, let's look at these stats, man. Lamar didn't, Lamar didn't have really too much of a throwing game necessarily I mean it's cool but yeah so like I said before if y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe I appreciate everybody for the support and I'm out